Yeah, I wanted to get your thoughts on that. Why do you think Keefe D did go and continue to do a book and documentaries and YouTube interviews and stuff? Do you feel that he thought that he had actual immunity or do you feel like he just thought it had been so long and I've said stuff that apparently they're not going to do anything? Um, I think both of them really. Um, the guy, the guy likes attention, man. So, I mean, I don't think he thought anything was going to happen to him. I think uh, that he was re thought that, hey, my immunity, I got immunity, so I can say whatever I want. And, and then again, when I watched some of his interviews, I don't think he really gave a flying F, you know? I really don't. You know, he, he s just said what he's going to say, and he goes, whatever happens, happens. So I don't think he cared, to be honest with you. And then, he, you know, he moves the... Henderson and he flaunts it in the DA's face and Vegas's face so it's almost like they they had to do something yeah yeah let me um ask you this because you said you did um uh, testify for the grand jury what was your reaction when you saw that Keefe did Keefe D did actually get arrested in Vegas PD they did the press conference and they did all that stuff kind of outlining everything. What was your reaction to it being, you know, 27 years later and Keefe D is, is finally arrested? Man, I was like uh, elated. I was like, oh, wow, finally, finally happened. After all these years, you know, like 27 years and he finally gets arrested. So I just wish my partner, Timmy Brennan, who a couple years ago, unfortunately, he came down with cancer and he died. Uh, a couple of years ago. I wish he was around because that guy worked his ass off on this case and he would have been very, very happy too that something finally came of it. And Oh, and I just want to say something to that sheriff that did the uh, the, the uh, press conference. Dude, we're, we're here to help, man. You know, so we're not, I'm, we're not, like I said, we're not LAPD. We were Compton PD and I'm still helping you guys. So I just want to let him know, man, because he didn't mention us at all. Like, you know, so I just want to say, hey, we're trying, we're here to help. So. So what do you think, um, what do you think becomes of this? You think, and this is all, you know, we're just speculating here and just talking, but um, do you think Keefe D pleads not guilty and tries to get a, 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 a deal? Um, or what do you think? Or do you think he's got grounds to fight it based on the way um, the proffer agreement was and him maybe could argue that he felt he had immunity? What, do you, what, do you, what route do you think he goes? Well, my gut feeling says that he's going to fight it. And all this is going to be worked out prior to the trial starting, I believe, because the, the, the fence is going to bring up all these motions about what they can let in and what they can't let in, if this proffer agreement still stands up. Um, so I think that there's a long road ahead, but I think he's gonna fight it. But I met with the district attorney out there and these guys are good guys. And they're, they're on their, they know their stuff and they're ready to move on this guy. I don't think they would have filed um, on Keefe D in the first place if they knew the proffer immunity agreement stood because these guys they're they were sharp man they're they're ready to go so um, I think he's gonna fight it though that's my gut feeling 